Now, this is really weird because it has this smooth creaminess to it, but it's also very, very rough at the same time. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do another review today on our mauve fragrances. Womo Italiano Nero. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly. Apparently there is an Awomo Italiano and this is the Nero version. I do go on eBay sometimes trying to like find newer mauves that I haven't tried. Maybe double check them on Fragrantica, things like that, because they have so many different kinds. I mean, I pretty much I would say almost nobody's even heard of this one or talked about this one. I didn't go, go check other fragrance reviewers on YouTube. Maybe people have. So you're gonna get a fresh review without any other people's influence besides my own. I did kind of see the Fragrantica rating, so I know generally what people are thinking and what people are saying on there, but I haven't looked at any other reviews if there are any on this one. I'm gonna go over the notes, I'm gonna go over the pros and then the cons, and then I'm gonna give it a full rating. So the notes are amber, lemon, patchouli, bergamot, lavender, and cypress. I mean, I pretty much get mainly the amber, but the amber is very unusual to any other kinds of amber. I'll kind of get more into that later in the review. What it really smells like is a rough, red, creamy, smooth scent. Now, it's just really weird because it has this smooth creaminess to it, but it's also very, very rough at the same time and a little bit off-putting. There is almost a little bit of this sickly sweet style smell that I get from this fragrance. I get that kind of sickly sweet smell with other fragrances and it'll be on certain kinds of fragrances and not on other ones. The only thing this really reminds me of is Polo Red, Abercrombie 1892 Red. I'm sure absolutely nobody smelled that, but that one came out in 2010. I bought like a half bottle of it online and it does smell similar, but at the same time, it's also does its own thing because it's got this very creamy smooth quality in my opinion that I don't really get in Polo Red or the 1892 Red either. Let's go into the pros. It's got a decent longevity and projection. Like I would say definitely above average and you might actually benefit from spraying this one a little bit less. Like I said, it can have that rough off-putting vibe. I think it might turn a lot of people off, but you know, it can be tuned, like, turned down a lot by spraying less. I think I actually sprayed this once or twice in my room or something. And I was like, the it had smelled a lot better with with more average style projection. And so basically it projects a lot, but you might not want to smell uh, spray a lot, but projecting a lot is a pro. It's somewhat of a unique smell because like I said, I haven't really smelled too many things like it. It has like a red style smell, even though the only note that I could see being that is the amber. And I do kind of see some remnants of an amber in here, but usually amber is kind of like sweet and smooth, maybe a hair spicy. You know, this is really in your face, rough and creamy and smooth at the same time. I know rough and smooth don't really go, but that's what this fragrance does for me. And the final pro is it's got a cheap price. And that's with all our mobs. That rounds up the pros. Let's go on to the cons. Like I was just saying, it has a rough, smooth, creamy quality that doesn't really match up. It can be off-putting at times up close. It has somewhat of a lower likability rating due to that roughness and that off-puttingness and that sickly sweet like vibe. I think this fragrance is best with maybe two sprays, maybe three sprays, giving it some air. Uh, you really wouldn't want somebody right up, you know, next to you smelling it. Supposed to be smooth and sexy smelling, but it's just too bold and too rough that I think the likability um, suffers from it. So I'm gonna give it a smell rating of a seven. I'm gonna give a likability of a five out of 10. There is something to be liked about this fragrance. It tries to be a likable style fragrance, but it really isn't. So the five out of 10 is warranted. And then the longevity and projection, 7.5 to eight, because it actually projects pretty dang good. If you kind of like red style sense, if you could imagine like a really red, bold, creamy style fragrance, that's pretty much what I get. And that's who I recommend it for. So that's been my review of our Mauve Uomo Italiano Nero, because it's the Nero version. Let me know what you think of this fragrance down below. This is probably not going to crack my top 10 of our Mauve's fragrances. I know some of you guys have suggested me to do a top 10 our Mauve. I will do another one very soon. Have you smelled this fragrance? Have you not smelled this fragrance? Have you smelled a lot of our Mauve's? Have you not smelled a lot of our Mauve's? Um, if you have an Armav that you like that I haven't reviewed, feel free to leave it down below and maybe that'll be my next review. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe. That would help me so much. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. We're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. <music>